Hello Tech Wizards and welcome to the first how-to video in our series for building our model rockets. In this video we're going to be looking at the parts and tools needed to build this Estes Viking model rocket. Each of you will get a chance to build one of these over the next couple weeks and hopefully sometime in May we'll be flying them outside of the school. Each of you will be getting, getting one bag kit, it's labeled Estes Viking. You'll also be needing some paper towels, a hobby knife, these are the exacto number 11s, one or two good sharp pencils, a ruler for measuring things on your rocket, Each group will also have a small piece of aluminum angle for drawing guidelines along your rocket body. We'll be using three types of adhesive to build these rockets. First one we'll be using is the Loctite Super Glue Control Gel. We'll be using the Elmer's Glue All White Glue. And we'll be using some brand or another of wood glue. All right, let's open up this kit and see what's inside. First part you're gonna see is the body tube. This is the cardboard tube that makes up the body of your rocket. You're gonna have a piece of heavy card stock. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. That's pre-cut with your fins. You're also gonna have a small bag with some miscellaneous parts. two different instruction sheets, one in English, one in German and Spanish. Go ahead and open up the miscellaneous parts bag next. In your miscellaneous parts bag you'll have some form or another of a streamer. This is your recovery device. This slows the rocket after it, the ejection charge fires and has fallen back to the earth. You'll also have a long rubber band. This is the shock cord that attaches the nose cone to the body of the rocket. You'll have a yellow spacer tube that we're going to use while we're building the rocket. I have a small white plastic tube. You're going to have a two-piece plastic nose cone. You'll have the nose cone itself and the small plastic base. These will get glued together to make your nose cone assembly. You'll also have a small green cardboard ring and this is your motor block. This is what keeps the motor from firing itself up through the body of the rocket. In the next video we'll start building.